If you're like me, you love going to our beaches throughout the year, but prime beach season is coming up. This week is Rip Current Awareness Week, and meteorologist Caroline Carruthers is in Gulf Shores to tell us what we need to know to stay safe before heading to the beach. Rip currents are the number one weather related killer at the beaches along the northern Gulf Coast, killing 172 people since 2002. Now that's more than flooding, tornado, tropical and lightning fatalities combined. We've had 70 rescues last year of rip currents. It accounts for over 80% of all rescues that are located on the beach. Gulf Shores Beach Safety Officers and lifeguards are working hard to be sure rip current safety information gets out to beachgoers, locals, and tourists. We have a pamphlet that all the lifeguards and our beach rangers give out every day to the beachgoers. Lifeguards talk to beachgoers throughout the day about what rip currents are and how to avoid them. There are also signs up along the beaches with information about the flag system and rip current safety. The Gulf Shores beach flag system includes a purple flag, meaning dangerous marine life is present, a yellow flag, which means moderate surf and or currents, a red flag, which means high surf and or strong currents, and a double red flag, which means that the water is closed to the public. But they do not fly green flags anymore. Because a lot of people, when they come to the beach, they see a green flag and calm conditions that it looks like. And people identify that as a stop, a stop light and they think green means go. We don't want them to think that. There is always a hazard for rip currents. You can have clear skies with sunshine and water that looks calm and still have an elevated rip current risk. Be on the lookout for more rip current safety information right here on WKRG, as well as the National Weather Service in Mobile and your local beaches social media pages. In Gulf Shores, meteorologist Caroline Carruthers, WKRG News 5.